Hey everybody, um, today is day, I think today is day 10, I'm not exactly sure, I'm doing a video right now, but um, I just wanted to check in with you guys because I haven't been, I haven't been filming in a minute and um, I wanted you to, you know, see my progress or my degress. Um, 49ers game is about to go on, come on against the Seahawks. But anyway, um, it's January 19th, 2014. Um, like I said, I think today is day 10 or 11. I don't know. Hey, can you put my calendar on the, um, on my bed? There's two calendars on my bed. So anyway, I came from the gym. Um, okay, so last third Wednesday, yeah, today is Sunday. Last Wednesday, I went out with um, an old friend of mine. Thank you. Just drop it. Okay, so today is day. Ooh, today is day thirteen. Hmm. So anyway, I went out with um, a friend. Um, last, what was it, last Wednesday, and we went to BJ's, and I ate, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the New England Patriots and the Denver Nuggets, or the Denver somebody, Bronco, Denver Broncos, or whatever, looks like they may catch up, there is, but they're not, anyway, so, um, oh, why did I do that, see, this is why I'm going to be a hermit, because I'm going, I can't, I can't go out and socialize and just be regular while trying to do this fast. So I was 168 that day, and the next day I was 172. So that's four pounds. That's four days that I just, you know, went wasted, basically. I only ate, like, some french fries and, um, okay, the Broncos one. I only ate some french fries, half a hamburger, and tortilla soup, but I didn't eat, you know, none of the stuff in the tortilla soup. I just drank the liquid. Then I had a couple of um, pineapple juices and water, four pounds, and we ate late at night, and I was just like, that's it. I'm done. So I'm not going out with anyone. I'm not doing any more social events or anything. I am just going to be a loner until I get this weight off. But then I started, um, I'm not going to lie, I do eat something like once a day, something at least once a day. Only reason, reason being is because Dr. Oz was saying that um, if, you, if you don't eat or something, your muscles uh, deteriorate and your heart muscle and you can get a, a heart attack. And I was like, oh Lord, no, no, I can't do that. So I, I, I do eat something. Um, just also because I'm looking at, you know, I'm looking at some other people. I won't mention any names, but like a couple months or, you know, a couple, yeah, six, two, couple months, couple days. You know, they gain half of the way back. Uh-uh, no, I'm not doing all of this to gain half of the way back. Heck, I gained four pounds in one night. That was a lot for one night for, you know, one piece of hamburger, which I shouldn't have did, but... Just like uh, maybe an hour ago, I ate a little bit of spaghetti. I made some spaghetti for my son, and I had a little bit. And last night, I made him some tacos with some turkey beef, and um, they they were looking so good. I just couldn't resist. I could not resist. So I think I made him four, and I made him um, a taco or enchilada with cheese, and I ate the one, I made him four, I ate one of the tacos. And it had sour cream and meat and cheese and salsa, with, uh, you know, in the taco shell, whatever. Oh, it was good. But I still lost. So I think the moral of the story is, for me, is to eat early in the day and juice like 80% of your diet per day. Um, I mean, I had some, I, chips, I don't know why I'm addicted to these chips, Cheetos, and Ruffles, Cheddar, and Sour Cream, oh, those, 
those ruffles, cheddar and sour cream are the death of me. Believe me, the death of me. And anything sweet, cookies, brownies, cake, or whatever, I just can't but stay away from them. But I chew them like I savor almost every single ingredient that there is. Um, so today I'm back to 169.5 and that's still not what I was the day that I went to that restaurant hopefully tomorrow I will be 168.5 or 2 or whatever I am going to zoom but I have um, resumed working out um, and I, you know I just I have to I, I don't want to lose this weight and gain it back a year from now. I don't want to lose 60, 30, 40, 50 pounds r right now and, you know, th throw away all of my clothes or give them away or take them in or whatever. And then a year later, I'm 50 pounds heavier. No. I, I would rather go slow and easy than drop 60 pounds in 60 days and then, you know, a year later be 90 pounds heavier that's just not that doesn't make sense to me and then yo yo go back and forth go go back and forth so um you know i've written a couple of goals in these past videos but um you know i'm thinking okay so january i will be in the 170s in february i'll be in the 160s in march i'll be in the 150s in april i'll be in the 140s you know, May, I'll be in the 130s. June, I'll be in the 120s. That's a dream. And maybe I'll wake up and it'll come true. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm just looking at my face because sometimes, and today it seems like it's very full and puffy. I don't, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know if it's me or what, but, or if it's the direction of this iPad, I, you know, I don't know, but, um, mm. but this lady, she did say, this is, good. this is starting to be a long video, in uh, Zoom, but she was like, yeah, I, ha I was made up, my face was beat up, and I'm sure you've seen other videos, I look like a totally different person, especially if I have on my wig or my weave, oh, uh, well, anyway, okay, the lady was saying, oh my god, you look like you're in your, 30s or 20s I was like really 20 I was like no that's because of makeup she was like no your face was like that I was like oh really <laughs> but um I want you to see that my edges my hair is growing I had to um dye because my gray woo, my gray hairs was popping up but my edges are growing back from when I had that weave every time I get a weave it takes out all of my edges and I have to that's why I go on these little breaks. Um, but my edges, see, I do have a little here. Uh, my edges are growing back, and that's always a good thing. My hair uh, has definitely grown um, in these 13 days with the juicing. Um, oh, and also, uh, I went to Trader Joe's, and they have this, it's like an orange juice, but it's called... Dyson or something and it's fortified with all of these vitamins and it really tastes good um, so that was the orange one and it cost $3.99 and I also got a green bean or something like that um, and that has Calora um, and that's also $3.99 so you know sometimes if you're lazy you know instead of juicing all of these carrots and you know all these other vegetables and fruits and everything just go to Trader Joe's and um get you know get a already made juice and these are juices it's not a smoothie it's a juice um oh and I also got I saw this other lady who um drinks um chocolate almond milk yes and it's delish it's very filling um and i forgot to drink it this morning so that means i'm going to drink some now so um i think that's it you know hopefully tomorrow i'll be 168 i can get back on track uh you know my stomach it doesn't take much for me to um become full with all of these 